noise reduction. There it is. OK, let's see how we cope with this. Now, straight off the bat, you're presented with options you just wouldn't understand. Lab colour. You know, lab's brilliant and you should learn about lab. It, it's like a phenomenal thing to work with and brilliant in Photoshop. I've used it for years. But if you're like coming from the world of those two programs, you probably wouldn't even seen the word before and you wouldn't have even known it. If you've done it in Photoshop, you'd know it. But basically it's light, it's it's luminance and it's basically R and G and B and what R hang on, R and B and B and G. It's just a different way of showing colour, like RGB, but it, it's very useful for colour grading. So hang on, let's have a look at what we're going to do then. So I've got all this noise. Oh, that zooms. That's OK. A lot of pixelate noise there. But how do I get rid of it? Luminance. It's not doing anything. Detail recovery. Automatic global method. Now, if anybody in the comments says, oh, you need to do this. Why isn't it telling me? OK, why isn't it telling me now? So don't say you should look into this. It should it should have a slider that says reduce noise. And then you work out, you get cleverer with the interface, don't you? It says reduce noise if you want advanced capabilities. So am I missing something here? Color space lab mode, aggressive. This is ridiculous. I'm sure this is immensely powerful, but that is just like the dumbest way I've ever seen of an implement implementation for a noise reduction. Luminous only, chroma owner. What are we doing? I still can't see it moving. So yeah, so that's a fail. That's annoying, isn't it? 